morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beta Plans. We return towards the motherland. A country so big that from, well, the far west to the far east, it's hardly fits on the screen. Okay, I can zoom out. All right, all right, all right. Um, but it does feel good to say that, doesn't it? During the off-camera time, my fret level has dropped significantly. Significantly enough that, well, if you can see in the little bottom row, a claim more, well, it only gives 4% fret. And I think the same is a little bit of a de jour war, and despite that this guy should be de jourly part of us, because we definitely hold this duchy on clear water, he just says, you know, you're not my de jour liege. Because we didn't create the Kingdom of Idaho. That's simply how it works. Because we do not hold the title of Idaho, he's like, yeah, yeah, not gonna do it. So I'm saying, you know what? Time to claim a war. Time to do the jury claim on Flatland. All we could do for a claim on Flathead itself, which would be better. I'm now considering because choosing your causes, Belli, is in. Important. There's also a claim by this guy. Right next to it, but I'm, I'm not sure what... I wish it would say ahead of time the amount of threats you would create. I'm gonna go for a du jour claim. And, uh, well, the council's pretty four. So, let's send that. How much fret did that cause me? Uh, we haven't won the war yet. Wow, okay, I know this war is not going to be too darn difficult, but that was a little bit uh, ridiculous. So who's against me? High Desert is... Crater is... Because, yeah, he turned against me, as in, despite me being Defender of the Faith. And, of course, Portlandia, where the Freelands still hold reign. And we have 4,650 men attacking, and then we have a Peasant Revolt right on our hands as we declare war. You know, that couldn't... that's not too bad. That is... pretty close nearby. Oh, and as I'm gaining her land, she wants even more land. Well, that Dutch is a wee bit greedy now, isn't she? But, uh... Wow, he has, like, no defenders. This is gonna be an easy war. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There it is, I squeeze the juice out of this guy, and you are now part of us, you freaking bastard. Because that cost me more fret than necessary, but pretty small amount. 2.64%. I knew that because it was a Dejure claim. Which means we can attack a little bit more, and I already have my next target in sight. Yes, you think that I would stop? <laughs> no. We will show them the awesomeness of a mother. There is a revolt over here. A revangelist revolt. Revelangenist revolt. Revelangenists are pagan. So I think we will also be able to, well, should he get a quick event to a... Well, actually, he shouldn't need to give a quick event, otherwise he wouldn't revolt. This land is still pagan. We should be capable of turning that around. I am, having said that, I still haven't turned any of my own counties around, so... Darn and piss off this and whatever you have or not. Yeah, that's a that's a, 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 a wee bit annoying, but that's just the way it is. And our Rixo, holy heck, you starting to become large. Threatening SoCal, what are you? You oh you have gone to the Empire. By the way, the Empire Oh, he already died. This is a new person on the throne because recently it was this guy, but he died in the dungeon of this man. From SoCal. Apparently, that line has died out. You'd come. Because, or at least in the mill version, because it's Agnatic Premier Congenitor. Whoops, only six living members. Ah, and this guy has so many bastards that we can probably arrange a patrol rule to my lovely girl. Yes, he would accept that. Meaning, we will get a claim to the Celestial Empire of California. I'm excited for that. The problem is this boy, the best spy being good age, his friends is zealous, so he might not like his wife too much. This guy is homosexual. 
he does have good stats though, thanks to that ambitious room instance. Uh, this guy, well, he, he has poor stats and is captured. Alright. Then we have this dude. Oh, he's already married to my own bastard. Then we have this man who is also homosexual. Not and is already betrothed, so not very good. Then we have, uh, no, your other brother. He is a lunatic. Uh, not sure. Um, ambitious and what have you not. And he is a Simons, which is interesting because that is his wife's dynasty. Who does also a claim on this county. <gasps> yeah, that's, that's not very important. But, um, so, interestingly enough, we have, I think, either him, Lee Armour, or Donta Simmons. That's about my ideas here. And the cool thing about it, despite, of course, being a bastard and not being acknowledged, it does give us a claim. But, uh, well, we need to think about Lee Armour or Simmons. Has decent stats, though. When are you turning 16? You're turning 16 on the 19th of August. Oh, next year. Next year, alright, I hope I can remember that. You died, and a more closely kin has come to the throne because your father is my brother, then? No, there's also a nephew. Why in the... If he is a nephew, how can you then be also a niece? Oh, different father then, probably. You were married to my brother, then you went to another brother of mine, and then you went to a nephew of mine. That's just Fanton, who was a genius, but she's dead. Oh, there it is. The revolutionist, he joined. Yeah, that's all well and good, but... Uh, the problem of you is that you are quite alone down there. And we are below 50% threat level. Meaning, they can't do us a darn thing anymore regarding the fact that all these defensive packs will join against us. So I'm quite pleased with that. And yes, we have also off camera done a little bit of work in Spruce Grove. Created the title of the Silver Bow. Countrymen, lend me your ears again. Yeah? What have you created? Silver Bow. Oh, you have united these two duchies. Alright. Hey. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't mind. And then, yeah, seniority. That's not very smart. Because then you have a good chance that it will fall out of your family. Actually, there's also another place where all oh, family Fairweather is about to lose a duchy title. Due to some, uh, bad mojo and the children, uh, I wanted to give them a matrilineal marriage and they don't accept it because it is their spy master. L let me see if I can still find that duchy. It's a really weird one. Here, this one. Uh, this lady, I could not marry. Ah, uh, now she's finally marrying, but she's already 37. I tried that way early, but he wouldn't let his girl marry because... Was a spy master. What? Why? I don't get that. And, uh, because... <coughs> that would save the line! And, uh, these girls, they're already too old for... To get to children, I want to say, but no, here is a pig eater. Not married matrilineal, so that is kind of bad. That means that, no, the duchy already goes out of her hands. Well done, AI. I, I tried to get husbands for them, and I didn't even have bad husbands. Like, I had... I have in my court... Um, let me just show you here. Oh, there's a grandson uh, has grown up. Um, here, the sheep eaters. These sheep eaters are actually ducal guys. You know what? We, we should actually find... Um, and also for my grandson, because that's this grandson, right? Yeah. Um, we could make a second line to armor, but is that wise? Do we perhaps want to go for this girl? That's a ducal claim. Is this guy beneath SoCal? Well, we don't have a line to that, so perfect, I would say. You marry this girl. Perfect. Non matrilineal marriage. We have found something for you. Two cacas. 
I'm so sorry, I probably am butchering some native Indian name. Or, um, and then, for the other boys that are in my court, so, court, not vassals, court. The Sheep Eaters. But she's 37, that is a wee bit old. Perhaps get some good corches around here is good though. Attractive, but at 35. Attractive at 25, there you go. Of almond. Perfect. Um, yes, and that would actually change the Portlander into getting Mountaineer kits. So that's perfect as well, and she's not a bad girl uh, by far. Ah, oh, this is... Oh, the Colum... That's beneath our... Our Mountaineer King anyways, doesn't really matter then. Oh well. Too bad. And there is the victory. I do like it nowadays that if you win one battle with Peasant Revolt and stuff like that, well... <laughs> you basically win. Because it immediately happens, and I kinda like that, because it was always such an annoyance to chase. And even if I castrate a Katek, who is of the Pacific Fate, which is the same as ours, we still get purity, so... Castrate it! Oh, and even if I say that, that just hurts my own balls. Ugh. All right, oh, yeah, yeah, well, let's continue with that, uh, with more pleasant thoughts. Like war! Much more pleasant than castrating. <laughs> I'm being facetious. D I don't, I wouldn't consider castrating uh, any lovely event anyways, but I don't think war is <laughs> better than castrating. All right, well, how did this guy still survive? Because he had a holy war against him. Dude, he won it? He was fighting the bloody... He was fighting the California Imperium and he won? That's amazing! Alright. The disadvantage of going for a Holy War versus Pine Bridge, I just realized, is that we will accrue a lot of uh, threat for very little gain. I, I think I may stop this idea right now. Right here, right now. If we have a claim on it, yes. If somebody has a claim on it, yes. If it's a holy war, no. Because that will get us way more threat range. And, uh, it, it's just the way it works. Yeah, here, holy war. It can only holy war. Uh, I don't want that. Wait, wait. Why would all these people join? Oh, because the pagans will join. Right. The pagans. Um, so, cancel that idea then. If we want to wage a holy war, we should wage a holy war that is of significance. Hmm. Do you see what I see? I see a very lovely desert there. I kind of want to, uh, by the way, uh, leave High Desert alone. Uh, what I want to do is, I want to slowly eat up more and more of Cascadia, the Kingdom of Cascadia, create it, and then they will probably join me. And then I will give Cascadia to the King of Washington, and I probably on later will create also this kingdom once we have conquered that, and also give that to Washington, so that we have like a, a King of the Northwest, if you will, a Warden of the West. And, uh, but thereby, kind of make sure that we do not get many vassals and what have you not, so... But that is a long plan, because we just need to nibble and nibble and nibble and nibble in Holy Wars. But what we could go is attack Desire Over here. And we could do Holy War for the Salt Duchy. These four things. Of which this Salt Lake City is a pretty good duchy. Hmm, that is the only possibility, or we're going to do a little bit more daring. We will take the Nanny's out and get all of them against us. And for which duchy would we then go for? We wanted to now be in Cascadia, so we kind of wanted here in the south, so 
The Duke of Azazi over here wouldn't be bad, or surrounding Portland. By the way, Portlandia. Ooh. There are three counties in that duchy that he doesn't hold. If we are of the same fate, could we then perhaps come to jury usurp it? Perhaps we could. Perhaps we could. I'm not actually sure on that. But claiming Portlandia next time around would be good. Nice next to us. Great river. Might be able to get Portlandia out there. That would be good, but do we really want to fight all the Nanisa together? Is that wise? Probably not. Is it 4,700 men? And they will get more because, well, people will like it if they fight against infidels. So, 8,000 plus you, who for some reason is 5,000 men. 15,000. And I'm probably forgetting something here. Oh no, they, they have united. This was a singular lady, but the lady has become... Has stopped becoming independent. 15,000 for Portlandia or Deseret alone? I gotta do Deseret alone. Declare the war. The holy war for the great salt duchy. Sent. Oh, she deserves it. Go get it. That is my heir to be, right, Galena? Yes, it is. Uh, we become bitter rivals, but she becoming ambitious is awesome. And she just got erudite. Unfortunately, not zealous. I like zealous a little bit better than erudite. Because zealous gives her... Well, let's look at her possible future husband. Here, plus two martial, church opinion, religious saint trade, monthly karma. It's a pretty good ability. <laughs> ability trait. He got shy, though. But that he's zealous and diligent, I have to take him. Uh, matrilineal. Yes, sorry, Bob. You and your husband are going to get some big discussions about religion, but you are both Pacific, so maybe you can overcome the difference. And seeing we are Gaian, and people don't matter if we call up their troops. No. Phew. <laughs> Phew, because that was the same province that they were already going to. I almost had stopped mm, the, uh... I should say cancel would be a better word to use in this case. Cancel the assignment over here. Hey, Desolate is in a wall. Didn't even realize. Yep. Desolate Denverite de jour over Unita. Good for me. And yes, there is... Oh, there's also... Bloody raiders again, yes. We are not only attacked by raiders from the west, no, we are also now attacked by raiders in the east. Hola de ye. These guys are... This There's a new host, and this host has been raiding over here, and... I had pushed it out, but it apparently is back. Great, and uh, yeah, there's a war going on here as well. Uh, bend the usurper to oust Queen Galena the Fett from power. But she does have a larger army than him, so I assume it will end up in a stalemate. What is a troop count around here? Well... We're gonna go there. And now that we're going down south... There is a chance that we won't have that much supply limit as normally. Yeah, they have pretty good forts around here. It's time to fight a, a bit of a bigger battle. This may uh, cause the war to last long enough that when we win, we only will be at 9... What will it be? 55? Fret? Holy Wars do give you a ton, though. Like 25%, 20%, 30%, depends a little bit, but... Let's get the capital. 5.3%. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. I will take that. Do we actually... Can we actually uh, get a commander that has a siege ability by any chance? Nope. We don't. Alright. Well, that's too bad. That's a goner. I thought it was the other green ability, Administrator, who actually makes your troops also move faster. Uh, we'll just take the standberry. 
King Paz the Usurper has declared King Paz the Usurper War to revoke Franklin. Alright, too bad. Not an, uh, an attack on the enemy, but another inner war. Yeah, he has 800 men. She has 2,500 men, but... Ooh, this... Look at it, 6,330 men. It's so ridiculous that the... Oh, there they are. That's the other part. I think I've beaten this part, actually, because uh, the last part was like 3,000. I don't know. No, huh? I don't know how it's split, but yeah, he is like 6,000. You know. Yeah, I just... Yeah. Really, it... it uh, and I can't stop them. They're too big. Unless I move all my armies to this side, which I, I guess I'll have to do. But that means that the west was very much open. But as you notice, we don't have that much raiders anymore in the west. I have been knocking out a few, and I did notice Portlandia and California also fighting a few. So perhaps we have made it weak enough that we could actually go about and taking out those guys. Because they're all sieging us to death. Oh, Washburn is back in power. And he is a Cascadian! Uh oh. That is not the same as Mountaineer. That is naked. They're both completely out of touch with all our culture. Also, she is Cascadian. Well... Crap! <laughs> um... Guess I'll have to take that. I can't really do much about it. There's a pretty old lady, but perhaps you two will have a chance, though. You are also like your own sex a little bit better than you like the other sex, so. Oh. There went the husband of my bastard girl. Heron, the king of Gran Francesco. I don't think uh, he will be marrying Metrolineo, but this guy might. No, that is too much. He's our Grand Commandant. Well, I'm not gonna give away one of my commanders. And yes, I made it to the age of 64, and therefore Galena Fairweather is actually pretty okay to start ruling. I hope, by the way, that this um, affectionate will turn into it kind, for instance. That wouldn't be too bad. The other one is content and trusting, though, and I, seeing I am content, I guess that Galena will also become content, which is, I hope not, because that will cancel out Ambitious. I really hope it doesn't. Oh, Castle Town built. Alrighty then. Build up some more, please. Um, let's your training grounds first. Thank you. And by the way, for anyone wondering, yes, we do owe a favor from this girl because, well, she was arguing with her, her husband and I came in between and she was very happy for that. But she's not on the council and what have you, not so it's not really useful. Oh, we can actually do this. Do we care about having this banishment for the council? No, imprisonment on the council. That could be annoying. Um... People are going to complain about me changing wars around. Uh oh. A few pragmatists. Who all you has paid you? To wow, somebody has paid a lot because they they paid to get two kings on their side. Yowza. If I would go for I don't know execution. Uh. He -uh. wouldn't be against me. Interesting. My council has been paid up around a little bit. Who do you own this for? To Ednit. My court chaplain. Is this also to my court chaplain? No, this is to Duchess Papueta Ironside. This but she owes me a favor. No, no, no. I thought she wasn't on my council, but she is. Let's change another law. No, let's get empowered. Because if we can change another law around, then we are quite, quite happily in our laws. Banishment I rarely do myself. Execution 
doesn't really matter most of the time. Execution... I execute or castrate people, which... I haven't ever really looked at the castrating also the council needs to then, uh... Agree with, but... If that is true... Oh, she's on our side. Didn't actually notice up. Oh, and he's our loyalist! But, yeah, I don't know if he's gonna vote for me. Um... But imprisonment sometimes can be handy. And it is against it, so King Pass of Washington will be against it, but we have free fall, and I also have a vote, so imprisonment will occur. Yeah, there's burning down all our holdings over there. As soon as this war has been, uh, has gotten the decisive blow it needs, I will go and deal with those raiders, because we have seen to have been dealing with the raiders from the west. White. Quite decently, but not anything else. What is this? In the Grand Colombian Caribbean, the Jew War of Okay, so they're attacking each other. Bonus! Weaken one another. I will be happy for that. And he is just not defending his duchy. He's just like, you know, screw this. I'm going to fight Denver. And I'm actually cool with that as well. I'm actually surprised he is able to attack Denver, because Denver is pretty large, but Denver seems to have too many war spams going on. Tyranny against Duke of Denver. Oh. And he also has a problem with the Revolutionist Uprising. Alrighty then. Revolutionist seems to be reveling in the joys of uh, uh, revivement. I actually don't know if revivement is a word, but I'm sure you understand what I mean, and I'm trying to do a little bit of a grammar joke. Alright then. Well, you know what? We are just sieging here. Boring shite. I will come back when this war is a little bit more on its way, and perhaps then also we will, well, be dealing with these guys, because I would kind of like to. I'll say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.